Listen, man. <laughs> Ain't no need to play. Listen, if the food is good, this is what you're going to notice in all the videos. If the food is good, this is what my plate going to look like while he's still eating. If the food is good, clean plate city. That's what you can call it. We, go, we call it a clean plate city. Back with another episode of Coach Ready. <laughs> I'm Michael, and I'm Shane. <laughs> and uh, today we are over at Alejandro Serious Mexican Mariscos. Time for some grub. Time for the grub. We got some fusion. We got some Mexican. Fusion. Hey man, I'm excited. Come on. Alejandro Diaz, um, owner of Alejandro Series Mexican Mariscos and Fusion Food. Yeah, how we got started. So I used to own two restaurants um, back from, uh, I opened my first place in 1998 in Rita Ranch, which is Southeast Tucson. Uh, it was a pretty new community. I was the first real sit-down restaurant out there. I was pretty young, I was 29. Um, I had that location, two lo actually two locations for almost 11 years. Uh, decided to close, you know, uh, life, divorce, all that kind of stuff. So I went back to work, uh, worked for a, a, a couple big companies. I dabbled in HR back prior to, to opening the restaurant. Worked with uh, Southwest Gas for, for a long time, uh, human resources, did a lot of hiring and stuff like that. Then uh, got a director of HR positions with a large company, Highgate. Uh, they do a lot of Hilton hotels and stuff like that. My intention was to get back into the uh, into the restaurant business. I did really well at it. I was really good, very organized. Uh, the restaurant uh, excelled, and I loved it. You know, was passionate about it. So my plan was actually two years from last year. I was like, hey, I told my wife, I'm going to go ahead and open up a restaurant in a couple years. Uh, talked to my brother about it. Uh, actually, my brother. I uh, wanted to open a restaurant in Nebraska, and you know he, he was uh, 54. And I said, "Hey, you know, let me, you know, I'll go up there, you know, do the consulting part of it for you. Like, I'll organize everything for you because I don't want you to be trapped in there like your whole, you know, life." My intention was to um, to help him first open his place over there. Part of his inspiration was when my dad passed. You know, we, he he really always wanted to do that. And and when he moved from Nebraska about four or five years ago, he 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 said, "Hey, it'll be real successful out here. there will be." Uh, there's a great uh, need for Mexican restaurants that want to open something up. So that, we would talked about it for a while and that night uh, I was coming back late from this new company that I was with and we had talked about 4 o'clock uh, that afternoon, uh, I think about 11, like midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning, I got a call that he passed away that night. So um, that was on 6-18 of 22, so I really, it really hurt me because, you know, it's hard for me to talk about, but Basically, I had lost a cousin about four weeks before that who was young, real young, 51, we're like brothers. And I said, you know what, life's really short. I did really well for myself. I actually was making more money at 29 than I was making you know, at just last year uh, with my restaurants. I did really well. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to do it, but I'm gonna make things a little different. I had been eyeballing this location uh, here at uh, uh, in Marana, it's at uh, Tarot and Silver Belt. So what happens that I was taking my wife to um, to lunch and I went to uh, Asian Spice uh, next door to this, which is a really great Chinese restaurant. And I saw the spot and, you know, part of my, um, you know, part of what I want to do is I, I, I didn't really want to open a, sh a strip mall. You know, I, I was kind of looking to buy a spot, but with the passing of my brother and my relatives, I thought, you know what, it's a really good location. It already has some of the infrastructure. It had a hood. And I, I knew I could do it uh, for relatively cheap. Uh, we opened uh, July 2nd, uh, 2022 at 7850 North Silver Bell Road. Uh, Suite 156, we're in the Fry Shopping Center. You know, 
was trying to think of what makes us unique, and um, you know, besides the entire family, one of the things that makes us unique is the the background, the experience. Like I actually have um, like a real intimate knowledge of the Mexican culture from Mexico, and I have a really intimate knowledge of the Mexican American culture, and what each plate should take. What Mexicans from Mexico. They don't like, you know, this cheese on this kind of plate. For example, the taco de raza, taco, but they don't want American cheese on that. Me, I don't want Mexican cheese on a rolled enchilada that has red chili sauce because it doesn't taste as good. You know, I don't care if it doesn't make it, it's not going to make it more authentic. I'm looking at what tastes the best. So that combination of that, that knowledge, which I don't think a lot of people have, like just knowing exactly what this culture, what they like, how they make stuff. So I'm going to put a lot of... Uh, Basically everything I love, every the best of Tucson food. Like I know every single restaurant in Tucson, every nook and cranny, every vendor. Uh, I look for new vendors, and I said I'm gonna go ahead and, and put what I love on the menu. Um, and part of what I love is like a little out of the box because I was like, you know, I want to do uh, traditional Sonora Mexican food, my style, which is you know with a lot of high end um, um, products like ribeye, uh, chuck steak. Uh, really great uh, flour tortillas from like little places like uh, Linda's. No one really has really good, a lot of good corn tortillas in Tucson, so we have a really good corn tortilla as well. <clears throat> I got little vendors like Los Amigos Meat Market who does our machaca, which is like your, your, uh, it's like a jerky beef, but a lot of people say it's it's real, but it's actually not. It's really jerky beef. It's the true thing, and, and he, he makes hat and batches for us. Um, and, you know, I used to send my dad 15 years ago to go buy stuff from my other restaurants, so... When he saw me, he was really excited, saying, you know, I'll be happy to do that, help you, help, 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 you know, cut the ribeye that you want for your ribeye steaks, or you cut the arrachera, which is like a skirt flank steak, very like high quality. That experience of, you know, the way my parents grew up, having the culture, not being afraid to, um, to um, collaborate, because I'm not one of those people that, like, hey, this is the way and the only way. If, if there's a better way, I'm going to look for it, and if a cook comes in, and comes in and says, hey, have you tried it this way? It tastes better, we're gonna do it that way. Well, that's really crazy interesting in these four weeks of crazy stories of family. They come in and say, hey, I'm taking this to my, um, to my son in the hospital. Just, you know, people seem to be opening up to us, like just like feel like they could talk to us. And I think that that's, that's pretty neat. Hi guys, my name is Miranda. I'm the daughter of owner Alejandro and I'll be serving you guys today. We have our crab post right here with the mango sweet chili sauce. And then we have our spring rolls with shrimp and arachera steak, picama and stuff like that. Um, with the peanut sauce and that same sweet chili sauce from the crab post. Alright. Now this is a new restaurant and what's interesting is is the fusion factor, just as Shane mentioned. So being able to kind of see how some of these fusion dishes are as Miranda presented to us, we're excited to try them. So as Shane usually says, less chatting and more eating. Alright, so we got two appetizers to try. We're gonna start off with the crab puffs. Mr. Mike suggested them. So here we go. Let's go in. Grab some of these. They got some green onions on them. You good? You want some of the dipping sauce? Yes, sir. He's pour you some of that on the side right there. That's the right chair right there. All right. Yeah, mango chili. Some mango chili dipping Let's sauce. Let's go. All right, we're about to try this thing right here. Hmm. <laughs> wow. These are great. Okay. One thing that's setting us apart, they're actually using crab meat. You can taste it. Yeah, they talked to us a little bit about that, that a lot of places sometimes, they don't give that much crab meat. And so they were saying they put a lot of crab. Like Shane said, you definitely can taste that. Definitely. And the sauce. Mango chili sauce. Alright man, for the second appetizer, we got two beautiful looking spring rolls, man. Tell 
tell us about the dipping sauce, Mr. Mike. All right, so they said that this one is made with uh, soy sauce and then also peanuts, and so it's interesting because these are Thai, so that kind of makes sense. I'll put a little bit on here. And then they also have the uh, mango chili, which is also the same one that was used um, with their crab puffs, the mini chimmy crab puffs, mind you. I ain't never, ate, I've never ate something wrapped in clear. What is this clear stuff, man? So usually it's a type of, um, it's like a rice wrap, and so it kind of holds it all in together. So all right, let's give it a shot with the sauce or without the sauce. I'm taking your word on it. Let's this. try it with the sauce. Let's try it with the. Okay. This is good. I was kind of scared. It's like a little clear wrap stuff, but it's good. It's really good. It's really good. Yeah, this uh, this is shrimp. It almost reminds me of like the way the shrimp is like for a shrimp Louis Louis or something. And then and then you got the meat in there, and then you got some lettuce, and it's all held together by the rice wrap. And so far, it's a great mix. I'm gonna try some of the uh, try some of the one with the peanuts. Mine disappeared. <laughs> Real good. But I'll tell you, one of the things that really caught our eye when we first looked was the ribeye tacos. Where else do you go to get ribeye tacos? You guys heard from Alejandro, they use um, quality meat, so let's give it a shot. These look great. Unhinged one of these things right here. And they do offer two different ones, ones with corn tortillas and flour tortillas. We decided we'd try with the corn tortillas because they said that's how they I'm gonna put a little, uh, what's this, pico, right? Oh yeah, pico de gallo. I'm gonna put a little pico right. de gallo on here. Ooh, and they got a lime. Always gonna squeeze some lime. Can't never go wrong with a lime. You get the whole experience here, man. When they say fusion, they really mean fusion. <laughs> Avocado in here, yeah, and it looks almost like an avocado crema on top of there. Some kind yeah. of sauce. Mm. Hold up. Now this? I can't get my words up. <laughs> this taco is really good. It's really good. It's definitely, I understand why people come here and ask for this. It packs a lot of flavor. The ribeye, the steak is, is fresh, juicy, and seasoned really well. You can like, eat, literally eat it by itself. Oh no, what do you think, Mr. Mike? Yeah, this this tastes great. It's a good combination. If you like ribeye, you like tacos, it works good. I'm gonna try some with the pico. As you guys recall, Shane had it with the pico de gallo in there. We both squeezed some lime on there. And this man, this is one of the best times I've had thus far. Mm. So these are gonna be our wings for you guys. We did a limited amount since that's what you requested. We also put some more of the jalapeno dry mix that we make in-house on there. So I do gotta warn you, it is gonna be spicy. The buffalo sauce in itself is spicy, but that mix is also gonna add a lot to it, all right? Okay. All right, listen, man. Listen. We had the crab puffs. We had the spring roll. We tried the tacos. Last but not least, what we got here, man? We got Ia Jackie's wings. And so it would seem almost like traditional buffalo sauce from what you guys can see, but they actually put some kind of jalapeno dust on here to give it like an extra kick. So they did give us some ranch to hold us down so we can hang in on, <laughs> hang in on there on the camera. So we're gonna give it a shot. All right, man, check this out. I'm a wing guy. I'm gonna be honest, I'm going first. Here we go. 
Sí. Oh, I stopped here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe that wasn't real. Maybe that wasn't real. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hey, get on down here to Alejandro's, man. These wings are great. If you love wings, these these are great. Great sauce, and then that kick. Oh man, she gets some of that dust. That was genius. The dust was genius. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to lick my fingers on camera, but listen. <laughs> I want to tell you guys, if, if these wings came on here, I'd know that they didn't get paid by the hour because they were on a salary. That Yo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell us in the comments, was it a good joke or a bad joke? Tell us in the comments, good joke or bad joke? Just let us know, man, let us know. And let us know if you want to hear more jokes. More dad jokes from Mr. Light. Let us know. family feeling uh, when a customer comes in and they eat something they're like man you know these calabacitas are like it's like it just blows them away we've had that re those reactions and it's a trip I mean that makes me feel really good and you know they talk about their stories and, and that's that's what we want we want them to have really really good food that they leave with a smile on their face all right guys that's a wrap another episode in the books we like to give a special shout out to Alejandra for having us and it's beautiful family-owned restaurant. What's really interesting and awesome is that this is a new restaurant, new location, and we were very excited that he was able to give us a chance to come and try some of the food, and I would highly encourage you guys to come check out the food, and if you guys do it, make sure you guys sell them. Let them know we, we sent, sent you. you. Let them know we sent you. <laughs> hey, and before you go, you already know what to do. Like, comment, comment and, and subscribe. subscribe. All right, we'll see you next time. See you next time.